Welcome back to Jail Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Here's a day from Destro Reborn. Passport sisters causing chaos in Dubai. Mm, let's check this out. Please like share them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Not yelling. No, because you trying to say that we can't get in. Why we can't get in? That's good. That's good. Right. So she keeps saying we yelling. We're not yelling. I'm not yelling. This is how regular talk. Nah, you yeah. You can't tell somebody how they regularly talk. I'm not from this country, so. Okay, so what? So what? So we can't get in, or we can get in. You have to check in. To okay, in. we gotta check in. So you need to move out of the way. Your boss told you we gotta check in. I'm recording, so. You know that is not allowed to check anybody's video. Listen. I can report you now. And you know I can that. report you because this is for no, no, my no. safety. You know that? Not safety. Yeah. Two hours later. So you driving this car right here? Let me get your license plate. Did she just post and recorded the man's license plate like that? So you don't have no license? Hello, excuse me, sir, what com- Hello, excuse me, sir, what company you work for? Touch the man, too. Oh, you don't too. want to talk? Please don't make my radio. No, we're reporting you to your company. We can record you with your company. Exactly. Oh, yes. The Untamed, the Uncivilized Hood Rat, also known as the Norway or Roof Rat. Feared for their wig snatch attacks, which they use to either dominate or disable their adversaries. <clears throat> but most of us know them for their loud, boisterous antics. The Ghetto Buzz Kill Blitz, a move that will sour the vibe of any joyous event, causing instant depression, temporary impotence, and the faint smell of Project Hallways sprayed in urine. <laughs> You see, these women sometimes forget that men from other countries have no qualms about slapping the ghetto out of them. These brave men understand that sometimes you gotta backhand John McEnroe, a loud 304. With no Pookie or Ray Ray reinforcements, they are left helpless in a forest. Someone always in the comment sections always says, they need a little Sean Connery in their life. In sovereign country. The glorious Dubai police will actually congratulate men for such acts of valor. The problem we have here is that this hood rat does not understand that yelling in public is a crime. To be indecent in public is looked down upon in the UAE. Most importantly, it's a crime. Yeah, they don't see it as in, oh, it's looking indecent and looking kind of whatever. No, they just see it as, oh, you can't, I can't do something? I can't do something? Then fuck you. No, you're looking fucking like a wild animal. Stop it. People don't like that shit. In the United Arab Emirates, UAE, yelling is considered offensive behavior and can be a crime that may result in a prison sentence of up to two years. Damn. Secondly, she had the audacity to put her hands on a man, which should have resulted in a quick and effective slipper or shoe slap to the chin. I'm sure we all know that most Arab men are well versed in close quarter slipper combat. It's clear she had no understanding of the level of danger she was in. She was True. In. So you driving this car right here. Let me get your license plate. So you don't have no license. Hello, excuse me, sir. What company you work for? Oh, you don't want to talk. As soon as he got touched, he was like this. No, we're reporting you to your company. We can record you with your company. Exactly. So people just people was really commenting like, "Oh no, you're not supposed to be yelling in Dubai. That's not a female thing." And with you, through and all of this other stuff, you know. Um, and you can go to jail and whatever. So I just want to talk about: Did I go to jail or not? Ghetto. It's about it ain't no ghetto in Dubai. Ghetto. Okay, it's ghetto. It's just like New York. It's just like New York, y'all. Flashback. They didn't came up in the world. They tapped EBT at the laundromat. Y'all better come and get it, baby. Right around the corner, y'all. Y'all know how to get it. Get it, get it, get it. How you wow. You live. Get it how you live. 24-7. 
All day long, seven days a week. Midnight special, y'all. Meanwhile. No cap. You have to wave a taxi down. Wave him down. I'm not from a place where I wave taxis down. So? Not Why does it fucking matter? I'm from the Midwest. We don't wave taxis down. We call the taxi, we book a taxi, we book the ride, and they come. Okay? Five minutes later. It's a Lex. You guys, let me say, what the f is a Lex? Like, quit playing with me. What is a Lex? A Lex is nothing. Lex is not top dog, okay? Like, come on now. It's literally, I didn't pay for more expensive rides in America, and I was riding in a mother BMW. Bitch, BMW and Lexuses are about the same luxury level slash trim level slash prices. New 2024. And then you guys are mad because I'm standing up for myself. It's so funny because somebody had just said it. Like when people stand up for themselves, it's an issue. Like I'm sure we all remember the last hood rat. I, I mean, passport sister that attempted to breach the walls of Dubai. Let's just say it didn't go too well for her. <laughs> Is that truck driver one? On Fox, the last two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public yeah. flashback so people just people was really commenting like oh no you're not supposed to be yelling in dubai that's not a female thing and with you with you and all of this other stuff you know it also could result in prison time so it's very scary the trip turned terrifying for tiara young allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in dubai tina baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her id credit card and other items left in the rental baxter says it did not go well baxter says her 29 year old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in dubai and she also didn't pay for it, too. Why? And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. Because of the advances in heat resistance wig glue and self-cooling eyelashes, this species of vermin have infected the poor residents of Dubai. Shout out to the Lord Destro and his roses. Freaking hilarious. The heat resistant wig glue and air conditioning eyelashes. <laughs> Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys next time. Ciao.